My name's Jamie Lynch. I am Senior Form Analyst for Sky Sports Racing and I'm going to summon up every ounce of that preposterous title to give to you my scrutinised and categorised horses to follow for 2024. Alcanto. The first category is a classic boy, or to give it its proper title, who's going to be second best behind City of Troy, who's obviously monstrous but monstrously obvious. I'm looking to France and the André Fabre fueled Al Contour, who looked the best horse in the Group 1 Criterium International before the bad ground took its toll on him. Sunday the 12th of May is the date of the French Guineas and I expect Al Cantor to be in pole position for that race. Azada. As for a classic girl, Tarnawa and Tahira tell us that Dermot Weld and the Aga Khan is a source for stardom in this section and they could have another formidable filly with Azada who made such a sparkling start to overpower a race fit pair and the time was the fastest of four races at Leopardstown that day including a group three. By Sayuni, the same sire as Tahira, and from the family of the brilliant Azamor, Azada has a magic mix to qualify for racing's Champions League. Nakib. The next classification is the group graduate, one with the power and potential to go higher than handicaps, and Nakib can make that jump with his jet boots, one named Baid and the other Hukum, his notorious half-siblings. Though he's heading that way anyway, based on his record of development in his first season racing for the masterful William Haggis. In the game of family fortunes, Nakib has certainly struck lucky. Valvano. Onto a category that already exists, the regularly referenced could be anything category. And I've split them here into a colt and a filly. And the colt is Rafe Beckett's Valvano, whose reputation preceded him when he went off 8 to 11 for a Nottingham maiden won in recent years by Eldar Eldorov and King of Steel. And Valvano looked cut from the same cloth as he sluiced in by six lengths, a first foot on the long road to the derby for which he's 50 to 1. El Malka. As for the filly, El Malka passed the eye test and the time test when she won a Southern Phillies maiden that belonged more at Newmarket given the pedigrees and the personnel involved. El Malka's finishing split was so fast that it generated the fire symbol on the sectionals tab on ottheraces.com and her future is hotter still when you consider that her close relative is Ben Battle. Cool Dividend. The next batch are the three-year-old handicappers divided by distance and the first up is Cool Dividend and he is hoping that he's a sprinter because he's yet to try it but he looks like a sprinter, walks like a sprinter and is bred to be a sprinter. His mark is 81 but it might have been 91 if he'd have stopped his race as a furlong out and in Clive Cox, Cool Dividend could not be in better hands for the sort of horse I think he is. Involvement. Moving towards a mile, and involvement is my long-range fancy for the Britannia at Royal Ascot. His debut at Redcar was about as good as it gets. Rare to see a newcomer so full of running at the end. And though overturned in a messy novice at Newcastle next time, it means the handicapper has gone lighter than the debut looked with a mark of 91. Involvement could be the next Estilio for the Chrisfords. Rocky. I always make a point of seeking out the trip transformers amongst Alan King's three-year-old handicappers and Rocky is a classic of the genre. He's got a mark of 75 after three runs over inadequate trips at the end of last year, but when your siblings include a ledger winner Mask Marvel and the dam of arc winner Volgeist, you can bet that Rocky will shed his skin and show his true colours in middle distance handicaps this summer. Infinity Blue. Next is a stable switcher and the hope that Julie Camacho can work her magic with Infinity Blue who wasn't got to the bottom of as a two year old. He cost a quarter of a million as a yearling with good reason from his build and his breeding and there's every chance that Camacho got him cheap at 37,000 guineas because Infinity Blue has all the hallmarks and the handicap mark of an unpolished gem. He could really take off this year under his new regime. American Affair. Last but not least, a wild card in the shape of workaday sprint handicapper American Fair, who has the look of another Jim Goldie high roller given the way he went through his first campaign. To say that Jim knows the family well is an understatement because Goldie trained the dam, the grand dam and the great grand dam and if American Fair follows in the family footsteps he'll pay his way and more this year. <laughs>